The front line may be more than a thousand kilometres away, but a resolution to the war in Syria could be mapped out here in Tehran. The leaders of Iran, Turkey and Russia are due to meet in the Iranian capital on Friday to discuss how to end the conflict. It will be the third time the leaders have held talks in less than a year. Iran's Hassan Rouhani, Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Russia's Vladimir Putin last convened in April in Ankara. At that meeting, de-escalation zones were high on the agenda. We had discussions we believe will shed light on the future of Syria and have determined the steps to be taken. Turkey is fulfilling its responsibilities regarding de-escalation zones with sensitivity. Turkey may be, but other nations aren't. The regime has retaken three of the four de-escalation zones. Idlib is the only one left. There are about three million people living there. Half are internally displaced. They fled to the supposed safe haven in the northwest to escape violence in other parts of the country. But now, the whole region is poised for an imminent offensive. For the Friday meeting, which will take place in Tehran, in line with the agreements of the Astana peace talks, we'll discuss reconstruction in Syria as well as how to confront the remnants of extremist and terrorist groups in Syria, particularly the Nusra Front in Idlib province. The United Nations has warned any operation in Idlib could lead to a civilian bloodbath. With such heightened international attention on the region, it's bound to be a major focus of Friday's meeting. <laughs> Russia and Iran are Syria's only allies. Turkey, however, provides political support to the Syrian opposition. Despite these differences, at their last meeting, the presidents were upbeat about their joint efforts. Thanks to the close cooperation of Russia, Turkey and Iran, the level of violence in Syria has considerably decreased and Daesh forces have been destroyed. But as the war drags on into its eighth year, many people are questioning whether a diplomatic solution is possible. Melinda Nusofora, TRT World.